Hello once again guys and welcome back to another episode of the top 100 bargains in FIFA 16 career mode. Remember that to be eligible for this countdown you have to be available for transfer in the first season. So let's pick up from where we left off and get through 70 to 61. Let's a go. So in 70th is Marquinhos of PSG. You'll know about this guy surely. One of the best up and coming centre backs in real life and they emulate that perfectly in FIFA 16. Just 21 years old, 81 rated, 6 foot and with some fantastic top 6 stats for a young defender as well as an 87 potential. As far as costs go, he isn't going to be cheap at 24 million and 60,000 a week. Next up is Adnan Yanazai of Manchester United. A 20 year old left midfielder stacked with a huge amount of potential. He's a player with decent pace, good trickery and with a potential of 84 plus. And if you want to give him a go, it will be 5.5 million and 35,000 a week. We don't see too many Turkish players in these countdowns, but you have one in at 68. It's Gokan Tori of Besiktas. A player I certainly haven't used in career mode, but now that he's made an appearance in this countdown, I'll keep my eyes on him. Plays right mid, very nice looking top 6 stats and a potential of 85 and he'll cost you 18.5 million and 40,000 a week. In 67th is Luke Shaw, one of England's best upcoming players at the moment. Luke is a 20 year old, 6 foot 1, 78 rated left back. His potential is evident at 86 and his top 6 stats are very good as well as being a very well rounded player too. If you want to steal one of the highest potential wingbacks in the game, it will cost 13 million and 50,000 a week. Next, we have a German prodigy, also dubbed to become one of the world's best up and coming players. It's Maximilian Meyer of Schalke. 19 years old, center attacking mid, five for eight and already two stats at 90. He does look like a hell of a player. And if you're willing to fork out for his buyout clause, 19 million and 50,000 a week, he'll grow to become an 87 rated player. And at 65th is a Brazilian right back. He plays for Monaco, it's Fabinho. He's a 78 rated, 6 foot 2, 21 year old. Good stamina, aggression and stand tackling and has an extremely decent potential of 86. He's not expensive, but he's not cheap either. Depending on what club you're playing as, of course. Either way, it will take 14.5 million and 45,000 a week to prime away from his current club. And we have another Brazilian wing back up next. This time on the other wing, it's Wendell of Bayer Leverkusen. 77 rated, 22 years old, 5 foot 9 and pretty speedy, which is what you need in a wing back. He again is expected to reach decent heights in the game with an 85 potential. And he'll be cheaper than Fabinho at 12 million and 40,000 a week. So at number 63 is Sergio Rico, a Spanish 6 foot 4 keeper, 21 years old, plays for Sevilla and has a very nice potential of 85. For his initial price, he is a very good money for value keeper, especially when he does reach his potential, just 12 million and 40,000 a week. So we have our fourth wing back of the episode up next. It's a personal favourite of mine, it's Fuka Arthur Mazuwaku. He's a 21 year old, 74 rated, 5 foot 10 left back and very well rounded for his lower rating. What makes him very good value though is his 84 plus potential. If you want to take him on board, it will cost 6.5 million and 20,000 a week. And our last player of this episode is Timo Werner of Stuttgart. He's a 74 rated, 19 year old striker, very very pacey, so it would be a great striker to bring on off the bench if you don't intend on using him as a first choice until he's a little better. And by getting a little better, I mean reaching his potential of 84, which makes his price tag of just 6.5 million and 20,000 a week so good. So that's another 10 players for you guys. If you liked the video, be sure to let me know by pressing that like button, stay subscribed for plenty more top 10s. And I'm Brace for Impact and thanks for watching.